All right. My time at Portia. We're on week four of spring. It's the final week of spring, I think. Unless it's the first week of summer. I don't remember. You love it and you want to pay attention. Yeah. Uh... Persona 5 Royal, while it has a lot, is still not enough for you. <clears throat> Do you mean like enough to consider rebuying and replaying? You would think they could just do it as DLC or something, I don't know. Instead of like having to play the whole 200 hours again. <laughs> oh, has different dungeons. And there's some things in the original that aren't in Royal that you actually like. That's interesting, I didn't know there was actual like, I just thought it was additions. The game is more about replaying it, really. It's very different, but you don't think it's that different. And Brox is going to pick it up on sale or something. Yeah. Okay, it's Linda. We Linda? Oh, I think I, I upgraded my axe. Oh, I've forgotten all the buttons. Right, hold on. Let's have a look at the calendar. Alright, there's nothing happening at all this week. That's good. Uh, <laughs> you miss crazy Linda. <laughs> Let's start some fights. I did read. Hold on. Is there a way that I can look at this? Yeah, summer. Look what's coming up in the summer. <laughs> the martial arts tournament, which I am 100% entering. And I'm going to win. <laughs> and then... That's a whole two day tournament. I'm gonna kick some ass. And then we're gonna ghost hunt festival. Excellent. Wishing lanterns. I fucking love the random shit in this game. That present festival last time that I played was my favorite thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Never know what kind of crazy shit's gonna happen in Porsche. I wanna live in Porsche. <laughs> a two day land run. Autumn festival with a cook-off. Cool. I still don't have an oven yet. A snow battle. I'm going to kick ass in that snow battle as well. And winter solstice. And then back to the beginning. I'm at least finishing a year in this game. I have to see all of the festivals. <laughs> we are totally going to 1v1 Polly. We're going to kick his ass. Oh shit, a friend of yours just told you she got ran over while on the crossing. That's really terrible. Is she okay? Jesus Christ. Maximum chill stream. Welcome, Giraffe. That's so bad. Keep us updated. Uh, yeah. Alright. So... I have a skill point. Shit, what do I want to spend that on? Maybe I should start putting into fighting to um, prepare for the martial arts contest. Endurance while dodging. I'm going to need that. I'm going to put some points into my dodge. <laughs> She's in Rome. Traffic is insane. People are just shit with people on full here. Yeah. Like... If you're in a freaking vehicle, like, you need to be careful because, like, <laughs> it can kill someone. It's. I'm always, like, super. Ca like, I always run across the road because I'm like, I'm gonna get run over. So I just, I hate walking near roads. Um, and that's in England where it doesn't sound like it's as hectic as, like, Rome. She didn't break anything at least. Oh, that's really good. That's very good news. Oh my god, is the stream breaking? Don't tell me the stream's breaking because that's annoying if it is. <laughs> oh no, it seems okay. OBS, what are you trying to tell me? 
seems fine. I think my laptop's just struggling. It's like this is the highest I can stream. All right. Swing, jump. Oops. How do I dodge? There we go. Right. This is a legit martial arts move. Sometimes to warm up, we just have to do rolls down the mats like this. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, you gotta get the stressy plessy. That doesn't sound chill. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck with that, Black Uh, right. I have to talk to Antoine. So I guess that's where I'm gonna go. With my axe. Oh, let's roll with your axe. I think he's in here. I feel so lost, like usually I know exactly what I'm doing, like building the bridge, but now I'm like, I built the bridge, now what? Excellent work. Here's your payments. Yay! Whoa. We are rich. <laughs> I need to ask, ask him a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we also have commissions. I did want to do a commission as well because I haven't done one yet and we needed money But now we're rich. So maybe I could just sack off all the work again and spend more money <laughs> You like that one which you like that boy and another which is pretty rare and very hard to get But at least that one gives you 8k experience. Oh nice. You're gonna be blurky. <laughs> There's always another bridge. Uh, right, eight five o'clock. Albert. Who else? What else? Five copper bars at the clinic. Why do they need copper bars at the clinic? They need two copper plates. Arlo. We could go and give Arlo two copper plates. Oops. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. One day I'll press the right buttons. In need of three bronze blood. Bronze bars. <laughs> bronze bras. <laughs> Jesus. How we fulfill this commission? Thanks. So everyone just needs bronze. Shit loads of bronze. I think this is going to be a mining week for us too. Oh no, copper and bronze aren't the same thing. I think I need to add tin and copper to make bronze. Something like that. Uh, can I just accept all of these? Let's give... Oh no! We can only do one at a time. Well, I think I've already got some bronze bars cooking, so... Um... You love the randomised nicknames the game gives you. You caught a spring ray. Two of the ones there for it was either Jerry or Springer. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> bronze bras, obviously. Have you never heard of them? <laughs> Is that actually a real life thing? Copper and tin equals bronze? <laughs> I don't know. There's- oh I've already got- oh. Shit but- right so I'll keep these. Oh no they're for my pickaxe man. It's on my list that I was gonna upgrade my pickaxe. Oh I need an upgrade kit from Total Tools. I can do that. Total tools, upgrade kit. I need bronze, no, copper bars. I might already have some. I've already got three, so I only need two more. Might as well just put more on. There. 
that'll do. Let's put some copper bars cooking. Um, bronze is an alloy, while copper is a mineral. Yeah, an alloy is like multiple metals, right? Or something? Something like that. They trolled me. <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, steel is an alloy, right? Because steel is like iron and shit. <laughs> um, got a headache. Take some copper. <laughs> Unable to pronounce copper bars. Take some copper for it. That's why they need it. So I did organize my. Oh yeah, I gave them names and everything. Food. Wooden storage. <laughs> oh, I need a fish in case we see the car. Uh... Oh god. Hold to split. Uh, so we can put... We could do some fishing. We've got some sassy caterpillars. Never remember what basic bitch metal is called. <laughs> What's basic bitch metal? <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> um. Element or mineral? I don't know. Isn't a mineral like? Stone or like calcium and like I don't know. I need to go mining. Your brain is filled with information like that, but nothing important. <laughs> well, it should help if in situations like this when no one knows <laughs> what they're talking about. <laughs> Alright, crafting. I guess these can belong in here. So, let me write a list. I'm gonna fish. Uh, commission. Which is... Five... Bars. Mines. Oh, I was also gonna make a sword. So I need to see what I need for that. Because I need a sword for my martial arts competition! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that too, Brox. Basic bitch metal sounds like a genre of music. <laughs> There's an alloy they use for breath instruments. Like... Like, flutes. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> so I don't want to practice... Oh, but I need a practice sword to make... An enhanced practice sword to make a spiked practice sword. I want a real sword, man. So we need... Oh, we can make that right now. Woohoo! Oh, we need... Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good, guys. Um, We need animal bones. So that means I'm going to have to go and kill some more llamas. Uh, we need four more animal bones so I can make a better sword. Um. Oh, <laughs> welcome crafty brass. Yeah. Brass instruments. Yep, that's a whole section of instruments. The whole band's made out of brass instruments. Murder. <laughs> Kill the llamas. I know. I don't have a choice. I need the I need the bones. <laughs> All right. So I'm still not at a place where I can sort of start decorating my house yet. Um. These are cooking still. What else was I gonna do today? I need to go to the tool shop, get an upgrade kit. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> craft us some good metal coins. Unfollow, block, report, animal killer. Oh no! The first time it was an accident. I just wanted to see what happened if you punched one. I didn't mean to kill it. <laughs> hey, Orcs. Dr. Zoo likes to ask me a lot of questions like, how did you learn to speak? What do you eat? Or where did that bruise come from? Jeez, Orcs. <laughs> well, stay safe. He fucking killed Papa Bear! <laughs> Noob's moved on from robots to animals. No. Hi. Hi. Fish for dinner. Even though we live right by the sea, I haven't eaten any fish in weeks. Every day I have to look after my shop, so I can't go fishing. Can you bring me some? I guess so. Okay. Uh, get some fish. Catfish too. Easy. We can do that. Uh, like, give me, give me a thing. Upgrade kit. Look at our money! <gasps> we could upgrade something. Wasn't everything like two thousand pounds? Like at our farm? Oh, a hat. Hat with light touch, making it ideal for mining and ruin diving. Does it do anything though? I might buy a hat because I want some clothes, a balloon. Used for decoration, loved by children and adults everywhere. Fireworks. Oh, and then we can sell stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's them umbrella hats. <laughs> oh my god, if you wear an umbrella hat, you get plus 10 defense. You had carbonara. I had mac and cheese. <laughs> Fish flavor Mars bars. Oh, could you see a Mars bar? Damn, I kind of want an umbrella hat. Oh no, hell no, that's so expensive. I might buy a miner's hat just because I don't have a hat. And I've got money. <laughs> How do I wear it? Hold on. Please let me wear it. Don't be just a decoration. Hey! Did our hair just shrink? I swear our hair just got shorter. Uh... <laughs> She's... Whoosh. Uh... Have there been other bots I was that funny time in? That was the first bot, Crafty. You bring the bots to the party. <laughs> it sucks that the basic bitch version made of four cheese packs there, which has well for... What? The carbonara? Why is everything basic bitch? I love it. <laughs> um... I'm sure, yeah, our hair got shorter when we put the hat on, but it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a mission to fish. That's fine. And cook some cock cock <laughs> cock bars. Jeez, copper bars. Oh wow, look at our light. <laughs> I'm never taking this hat off. Um. Crafty creates the bots so she can keep them on job. <laughs> I like it. Um. Oh, you're talking about mac and cheese. I only have like the shitty stuff out of a packet that takes five minutes to cook. <laughs> it's an Italian American version of four cheeses. Ah. Crafty sauce sauce. Oh. <gasps> 
<gasps> I saw Pinky! This is a really good torch. Hello, my friend. Here's some fish for you. The other guy doesn't want frog fish. Good girl. Okay, bye. You can follow me. Yay! I think he's the best. <laughs> Crafty's dinner is not basic, bitch. It's like 2 p.m. in spring, and our torch is lighting up the world. That's how good the torch is. Right, I need to go fishing. Whoa! Pinky's at my house! <gasps> I think I adopted Pinky. Good kitty! You think that's just the sun? <laughs> right, they're still gathering. Oh, My best friend! Right, where's my sassy caterpillars? Right, let's go fishing. I think Pinky moved in. Pinky is nowhere near and then just spawns right behind me. It's weird. <laughs> Right, where's the fishing spot? By my beautiful bridge! <laughs> it's a bit unsettling. Your soil janker is hot. What is soil janker? Pretty sure I butchered the name. Pinky is so chunk. Oh, Pinky's just stayed over there. Okay, let's fish. I've forgotten how to do it. Sure, I'll be fine. Oh. That was a waste of a caterpillar. Oops, oops. All right. Oh man, I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> it was so easy before I remember it. And I don't remember where to get the caterpillars from. Apparently all we can find is frogfish. <laughs> How is it actually said? <laughs> Shadow's dying on the inside. German J. Oh, shite. Oh, I missed my fish is why because German is sus J Yanka Sol Yanka <laughs> Oh this is what I need oh no that's not a catfish the heck is this oh that is a catfish I need one more of those Perfect. All right, let's go. Oh well, I guess one more. Let's go and give them back to that dude and go and make our pickaxe. Oh, we only use the caterpillars when we catch, catch a fish. Oh, I'll use my last caterpillar. Oh, frick. How many rusty iron pipes does one girl need? I 
I got this. Right, there we go. Soul Yanka. We've been catfished. Probably. <laughs> oh, I could go and kill some llamas, but... Not yet, I'm not ready. Do with a bike or something to like go a bit faster. <laughs> Thanks for the court, Black Elf. Oh, look, Pinky's still here. Pinky, my favorite. Okay, we need to go and find that dude. Oh wait, no, I need my copper bars. Oh, I need one more. I think I've got one in my cupboard. I already have a catfish in my cupboard. Oh well. I might as well store my lead bars, even though that's not what they are. Iron pipes. <laughs> oh yeah, I need a friggin' upgrade my pickaxe. Hello, Richie! <laughs> Animal bones, that's right. Oh. There we go. I now have an upgraded pickaxe and an upgraded axe and I can't up so everything is upgraded except my sword. But I only just made my sword so that's the next thing to do. Mines, sword, deliver fish. Where are my fish? There we go. Oh, and bars. I can deliver the bars too. It's what a life in there. <laughs> Stressy Plessy is making you nervous. Is it like a Pokemon game? <laughs> but not. <laughs> Hey, horsey! There's a horse in the town square, guys. What are you doing here? Right, the horse is not punchable. Can we steal it? Oh, no. We can't steal the horse. <laughs> kind of but not really okay that's fair uh, how bad was the show yesterday did you think it was bad black or there was nothing hype um but to me nothing can ever beat the ps5 reveal show that was so fucking good um where are these people? Oh, he's still at his tool shop. Um, meant to say there was one game you saw that you know Crafty would rave about. Don't remember what it was. There was a few like really nice looking games like with unique art styles and stuff. Um, when you take out all the zombie four player shooter games, there was some cool stuff but just nothing like mind blowing or like, you know. Yeah, nothing good really. Last of Us literally won everything with no regard for actual thought. I don't know, I was happy for Last of Us. Um, but yeah. You already forgot it, but you know there was something. Yeah, there was nothing great, I agree. It was fun to watch though, it was just fun to 
Why am I looking here? There's a question mark here. But he's not here. God damn it. Um odd world but yeah we've already seen like at least two separate reveal trailers on different shows of odd world um it deserved accessibility yeah definitely accessibility and yeah laura bailey i was very very happy for her um not for no other reason i think she deserved it <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> like especially after all the shit she got I'm going to bed hold on I'm going to put some bars on bronze bars there we go We'll deliver everything in the morning. <laughs> I think I deserved it. <laughs> Soundtrack was given to Final Fantasy Sevi. Sevi? Oh my god, I can't speak today, guys. It's really bad. Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, because of the orchestral BG, when Doom, in your opinion, should have been the winner. Because of the insane procedural soundtrack. Doom has a procedural soundtrack? That's interesting. Uh... Yeah, she has a lot of range. <laughs> You'd have loved Hades to win soundtrack, but you still think Doom was better. I didn't... Look at me sleeping in my mining hat! <laughs> I didn't think I didn't have any strong opinions on any of the awards really because I hadn't played any of the games at all except Among Us and Fall Guys and Animal Crossing and even not played Animal Crossing I did yeah for a family game I got that yeah but I wasn't like that bothered about it winning anything in particular so uh, I was happy for Among Us um, I was kind of rooting for Fall Guys just because of how much joy it's brought. Um, didn't Final Fantasy VII win something else? I thought, oh, was it just sound? Oh, okay, yeah. It's like 150 plus songs. Uh, has a soundtrack that changes with the game not from one track to the other literally changes phases in phrases in the same song that's i didn't know that that's really interesting because there was also there was like an award for audio design which i thought was really hard to call because there wasn't any particular games that had any sort of something new in audio design like like for example when you think of Hellblade or something. Um, yeah, there were games with good audio design, but nothing that had that as its thing. So, but that's different from soundtrack as well. Um, you were super hyped for Among Us and Fall Guys for what they won. Fall Guys won for the community management or something, didn't it? So, I bet that dude was buzzing. Well deserved, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Black Ore, but I was, I was happy for it. Um, again, I didn't play it, but I watched it, and I thought, I, I think even though a lot of people had mixed feelings on The Last of Us too, I like what it did, just for being bold and not just like being safe. And I think that's an example to be set, like, in my opinion. Uh, Loki expected an announcement that Microsoft had purchased the Among Us studio. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
that would be pennies to them. They could easily do that. Uh, Hades barely got any recognition. I saw a lot of people wanting Hades. Like, I think it got more recognition from people. Um, like, oh, like, what you call it? Not critics, other people. Players. <laughs> uh... That is why the Doom soundtracks were a lot of extra work because I had to take the procedural music and actually make a song out of it. It's quite impressive. I didn't know that that was a thing. That's actually really cool. Uh, right. Eddie's won best indie. Is that what it. Didn't it. Yeah. Uh, didn't it get action? Yeah. Oh, action adventure was Last of Us 2. Yeah, what's the difference between best action and. I would have said that action best action is for the actual combat and fighting and stuff and action and adventure is for the way it's like more of a genre does that make sense uh i don't know if that's right or not but that's how i would interpret it uh so happy that among us had two yeah oh those people were so happy the among us team that was really nice to see and <laughs> the one that was on the phone <laughs> that was really funny um all right we have an important announcement tonight. Fireside meeting in Peach Plaza. Please try to make it. Oh no, seven o'clock sharp. I'm definitely gonna forget. I thought that happens on a Sunday. Day 23. Okay. Oh, event reminder. That's what I need. What does this mean? The time? Okay. We should get plenty of fucking reminders there. I thought I had two mail. Oh, this is the other mail. We're happy to inform you that after safety inspections, we have opened up a new abandoned ruin for diving. It is located atop the hill at the north end of town. All right, I need to go there. So I've upgraded my pickaxe. Commission skilled. Sword. And bones. All right. Um, you would have loved Hades to win soundtrack. You watched all those documentaries as they were making it, and really, I liked how the studio put so much work into it. And it seems like a really positive working environment. Oh, that's good. That's really good. At the same time, you think awards should be judged independently, not based on the amount it has already gotten. Not that I have an opinion on if the win was deserved or not. Yeah, it's it's really hard because it's like who who has the authority to, to say and then if it just is left to vote then it becomes a whole popularity contest who has the best marketing type thing so it's really difficult to, to balance like an actual fair and it, I mean it's all um, relative like everyone what's the word that word where like different people have different opinions there's a word for it <laughs> uh, from what you understand Naughty Dog had very bad crunch and just deal yeah I see what you're saying yeah they should take into account like the actual making of the game and like yeah I see what you're saying and then that would en also maybe encourage healthier worker envi working environments in the big AAA games All right.
Yeah, we, we didn't understand what best direction actually was. Because, like, when it comes to, like, film, you know what direction is. It's the director. It's the person who talks to the actors and stuff like that. So, but in a game, you'll have multiple directors of multiple, um, like, sections, whatever it's called. So, like, what is the, what? What does that mean? <laughs> Best direction is no. Nothing won by Doom Eternal. But I remember when Doom Eternal was on the list, and weren't people surprised that it was on there? Not sure. But yeah, I was mostly there for the reveals. This isn't who I was aiming for. I was mostly there for the reveals of like any trailers or games and stuff, but there was nothing, I feel like they've already used all the biggest ones in the PlayStation shows. Doom Eternal was an incredibly well received game. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah, it was definitely well received. But I just remember people, like, of all of the lists of the ones that were say on Game of the Year, people were like, oh, I'm surprised Doom is on there. And if people wanted to replace one, it was usually Doom with something else. Where is this tool guy? He asked me to catch him fish, and then he's just never anywhere. Oh. He's across. Where the fuck is he? He's not here! Holy! Where's your neighbor? Oh, there he is, there he is. Running away from me. I'm having fish stew tonight. Woohoo! Woo! Hey, 50 quid. Alright, that's good. And becoming besties. Oh no, half a star. <laughs> We're not doing very well with the relationships. Where's my pinky? Half a star? Adversary? Pinky? I feel betrayed. And there's still like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people that we haven't met yet. <laughs> New bridge. Feel like the controversy of The Last of Us 2 kind of carried it longer because people remember that sort of thing more easily. Yeah? That's true. It's like, uh, all publicity is good publicity. That's where that sort of thing comes from, right? Whether it's true or not. Uh, Fallen Order barely got any nominations. What's Fallen Order? I don't even... Fallen Order? Is that... The full title or is that a subtitle of... What is Fallen Order? <laughs> oh, the Star Wars game. Right, okay. People loved it when it was coming out. Yeah. Yeah, have another fish. Pinky became your stranger? <laughs> I've always wanted a stranger. <laughs> wow. There she is. Wow. Um, okay. It came out last year when the awards came out, so too late. Yeah, it's also a really strange time to have the awards, like, in December when the games aren't even fully out yet. And then how can you even judge some of them? Because, like, 
there's been no time to play them. <laughs> uh, seems really scummy when what they've done with the reviewing for Cyberpunk depends if people remember that sort of stuff or not. What happened with Cyberpunk? Became your stranger! <laughs> The way they treat their employees is really shitty, yeah. Oh no, not these people. Hello. Hello. This is pretty well made. If you ever feel unwell, come to our clinic to get a checkup. <laughs> Thanks for that advice. <laughs> well, there is some um, money for us again. Absolutely killing these jobs here. Stuff that comes out too late can't be nominated, like Cyberpunk, yeah. Bob being really harsh with reviews and footage being allowed out up until last day. Uh... Yeah, the, the whole crunch thing was really strange with Cyberpunk. Like, it was like the employees didn't find out that it was happening until they'd announced it on Twitter or something. Um... They didn't send any review copies for console versions and only let reviewers use pre-recorded footage rather than their own footage. So console versions have come out, oh yeah, with ridiculously downgraded graphics and running at 10 FPS and people had no idea. I have heard that it's really terrible on like PS4 era consoles. It's a bit weird though, the pre-recorded footage also does not represent the best the game can look. Yeah, like, if they're trying to control it too much, then what is it you're trying to hide? I get it. Um... The things you heard about the console versions on PS4 and such being very bad. Yeah, I've heard, like... I feel like it's, at this stage, basically, don't bother. Just wait until you've got a better console or... Um, a PC. Ooh! I don't think I've been up here before. Aroma apple. Hmm. Right, uh... Oh yeah, I have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Behind this building, I think. Here we go, this must be it. Danger. I'm not scared. Come at me. That's a big door. Right, so there's the elevator that switches everything off. I guess we could go in there, but we have to come out in a couple of hours. Uh, is it actually on the new consoles though? I think, um, not properly yet, it runs a backward compatibility version until the patch comes out in February. Yeah, I was reading that, like, if you get it on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade it to PS5 later, something like that. Uh, it just ups the FPS by brute forcing with the upgraded technology, essentially. I think it's a weird time to be releasing huge games at the end of a generation as well. Uh, because like you've got the whole potential of the next gen, but you've been working for years on the old gen and it's like... It's a really weird situation to be in. Probably should have just delayed the console release, maybe. I find it really weird to consider that they were trying to release it much earlier and that it would have been planned for older consoles the whole time. So why is it so bad? Yeah. I think like maybe, maybe the more they kept developing, the more they increased what they were trying to do. And um, maybe it just kept getting bigger and bigger and then eventually it's gotten so big that like PlayStation like 4 can't handle it anymore. <laughs> 
it's a non-backward game on Xbox Series X at least. Just not with a lot of extras. It was announced before the PS4 and Xbox One even came out? Jeez. That's crazy. Sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, giraffe it could be. Yeah. Uh, right. I've forgotten how to... Oh. Look at us. Right, this. I guess I need my pickaxe. Oh, it's red. What's this? Different type of... Oh, it's iron. Have we had an iron? Bronze is what I was naming, wasn't it? A washing machine? Get in. Oh, right, so we have a jetpack and I don't remember how to use it. Oops. There it is. Alright, let's... Where's that hole that I just... No! Already? Oh, we can do one more. <laughs> Friggin' the mayor with his meetings and shit. Who needs it? Can't wait to put my washing machine in my house. Level up! A magic lamp piece getting all sorts of shit. Right. This is what we're gonna spend this week doing. Just mining so much stuff. At the start, the Witcher was also buggy uh, and laggy in general. Has improved a lot over time. I think that it's like, yeah, having such a big project, it's hard to judge. Like, they obviously completely underestimated what they were doing. They must have. Ooh. How do I jump? I can... Quick, I'm gonna miss the meeting! I missed the meeting. I'm only 44 minutes late! Oh there. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> First, let me talk, and then we can all have pumpkin pie. I have several items that I want to discuss today. The first is that thanks to the efforts of our builder, we now have a bridge to Amber Island. I would advise people not to go into the cave just yet as there are some unruly creatures inside. I plan on opening up the cave as a tourist attraction eventually. Okay, there's creatures inside the cave, but it wouldn't let me go inside. Um... Oh yeah, I can't mine bronze. Copper and tin, yeah, 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 okay. I <laughs> need plunge brass, yeah. Uh, after plenty of after release parts turn out terribly because you can see the other thing wasn't considered at all during the time of it being made. Yeah. And except in this case the console version is out right away. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of similar to how things end up on the Switch sometimes, right? It's like sometimes they're not very good because they were never designed with the Switch in mind. Um Except, yeah, this game was supposed to have been designed with that console in mind, so it's, it's weird. 
Uh, 44 minutes late as usual. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's a good game from what you're saying. People like to be hype about something. Wait, where was the hype? Were you talking about Cyberpunk? Because I feel that too. Like I feel like there's no way that it could have possibly lived up to its expectations because... I mean, but it might be, because people do seem to be loving it, but for me, when something's that hyped, I usually go the other way, and I'm like, I'm not bothered. <laughs> um, basically, like, in Doom on consoles, just didn't have any place there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Often PC gets considered first, and then consoles are like the afterthought. All right, build a Linda. Nice one. Since the last fireside meeting, I've obtained enough capital to commission the construction of five DD vehicles to form the Porsche transportation system. Oh. We're in the process of visiting the builders in our town to get them signed up on this project. When this system is complete. Porsche will enter a new stage of rapid expansion and become a beacon of development in the free cities. I hope that everyone looks forward to it. Where's he gone? Like, he just walked off the stage. <laughs> but he's still chatting on. In other news, we are aware of some thefts this week. These actions will not be tolerated in our town. We will investigate this to the end Ooh. and capture the perpetrator. I'll beat him up. Tell me who it is. Must be Huss and Tuss again. Who's Huss and Tuss? These idiots never give up. They stole my favorite book! They stole his favorite book, oh no. And my wheel of cheese! Oh no, not the cheese. And one of my socks. Yikes. I hear you, I hear you. We'll get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Arlo will be spearheading this investigation, so you folks can rest assured. <laughs> Gail is a ghost, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, some part in studios do great thing things, some do not. Probably depends on what they've got to work with and stuff. Uh, the Ori parts to Switch have been epic and even improved on the base game. Yeah, I think it does kind of depend on what they've got to work with. Um, Shadow compared it to Shadow of Mordor, which came out on cross PS3 and PS4 time. Those two versions cost the same. Is that a good thing? Like, do you mean? Or... Uh, one twenty four K mod on Xbox Series X was described as being made possible due to the work they did to make the Switch version the best it could be. Oh, that's good. See, so, yeah, that's like that's when things work to their best, isn't it? To like push each other to improve rather than cutting costs and just cranking things out. Alright. That's all for this time. You all have a good night. Come up and get some of Sophie's pumpkin pie if you want. Where's the pumpkin pie then? He's gone. He's just like, bye. <laughs> okay. Uh. Are you okay? You look very sad. Phyllis is a good helper and a quick learner. My work has gone a lot easier because of her. Well, why don't you just marry her then? <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Gail's home? Why do I need to know where Gail's home is? Oh, because we need to start... Yeah, we need to speak to Gail because we're going to get this contract for this teleportation, no, transport <laughs> transportation system, not teleportation, that's 
two different things. Well, it's kind of the same thing, but not as efficient. <laughs> Gil, wait for me, I want to talk business. No. Fuck's sake. I mean, we can go back up to the, the thing, wherever it is. They did it themselves without outsourcing. That makes sense then, and they've learned from what they did with that to improve the sequel. Sully Linda, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Studio also seemed really cool to the people. They already did a lot of work from home and encouraged people to go off and do things, helping them recharge. Yeah, it's it's so important. Like, it's really interesting to hear about different work environments in different studios. And uh, some of them are starting to get reputations, aren't they? But like it makes so much more sense to be good to your workers for all reasons Tra yeah transportation basically very slow teleportation <laughs> yeah oh where's my thing gone Oh look, there's blue here. Manganese. That part of the town reminds you of Stormwind. What's Stormwind on? Uh... What do we build with manganese? Oh, a spring. We needed springs. That's really good. We needed a spring to build a llama trap. I don't know why we need to trap a llama yet, but... I think we can ride them if we trap them, so I'm, I'm going to try and trap a llama so that I can ride it. <laughs> so really I should have just bought a pass to the old mine, but never mind. Because I can't do anything with manganese yet, if that's how it's even fucking said. Soldier with scepter. Oh, I'm not bothered about relics. Who needs relics? I should I should do this while I'm still down there, shouldn't I? Oh, we need to go to bed. We'll pass out. Lubricant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> from a mine lovely frig last one we can do this can't we might just be worth passing out right let's go I know I should get some rest I'm trapped <laughs> trapped in the mines Oh no, I broke the noise. Oh, look. There we go. There is an emergency escape button, but I don't remember what it is, so that's useful. <laughs> um, does seem like smaller studios are just generally better to their people. Yeah. It's definitely why you think things like Naughty Dog shouldn't be praised for direction. I think they should be if if they're still if they can manage to maintain that environment in a large studio then they should also still be praised for that but um that goes for whatever the size of the studio and if yeah if they've if they have done that then they deserve the recognition if they haven't done that then they should get fucked oh we passed out <laughs> i was nowhere near home <laughs> <laughs> it's always worth just passing out. <laughs> Teleport, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I should go to bed. Let's do one more. Sounds like me. That's true. That is true. So how does this affect me? 
because we still have all of our stamina. We still have all our health. 7 a.m. And we woke up in bed. It might just be worth, worth passing out every night. Oh my god, it's already Wednesday. And there's an exclamation mark on my map. Where? Where? Oh, we got mail, we got mail. Quick! <laughs> Linda, come see me sometime. I have a commission lined up for you, Mayor Gale. Well, I tried to come and see you last night. You wouldn't fucking see me. He is the lady Sophie, that's her name. Give me some pumpkin pie. Oh, good day. Are you alright, ma'am? I'm sorry, I'm getting forgetful in my old age. I must Aww. have misplaced my basket somewhere in town, but I don't know where to look. Can you help me? Oh, yeah, of course I don't can. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll find it for you. Where were you last? <laughs> That's very kind of you. I was delivering some milk to the Porsche school. I probably left it there. I'll get it for you. Uh, the Porsche school. All right. All right, we've got a few more things. Pinky! Stranger! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we have all this junk. <gasps> my washing machine needs to go in my house. I need to build a llama trap. Good kitty. Um, 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. Gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs. What's that off? <laughs> Ban Brooks. <laughs> Gale Mill, what is that? So, yeah, he's playing with the kids. Are we. Oh. No, he's not. He's just... Careful, Pinky! Should I... F no. Should I fight him? I might lose money. I'm rich now. I don't want to risk my money. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's the Friday song. <laughs> Look what you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he wasn't gonna name but I asked. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> Gail, my mate, what's up? Thanks for coming. I've been real busy lately trying to figure out who the town thief is. I heard about that. I was was I stolen from? I heard about that. We've never seen anything like it. It's so strange. He's not stealing anything essential, just random trinkets. The okay, well, can't walk him. show up once in a while, and, but they're more interested in big money items. We'll capture him for sure. We're kind folks here, but we'll still uphold our laws. Just tell me the name. I'll go and get him. I have an iron pipe. Anyway, enough about the thief. I asked you to come because I want to further develop the cave on Amber Island. That cave used to lead to a ah, room, okay. but due yes. to an accident, the entrance was closed. This was some 40 years ago. Since then, there's been various rumors of it being haunted. Oh, which is all nonsense. I'll investigate the cave, 100%. I think it's about time we used it in our favor. The haunted cave of Portia has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? There used to be a power generator in there somewhere. I'm commissioning you to fix Ooh. it up and give it some juice. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. Alpha, welcome. Hello. Uh, Gail needs to be careful not to trip or he would roll down. Yeah. Why is everyone running now? What is up with this town? Oh, no. I left it too long and his voice acting has gone. Alo tells me we'll need to install a removable battery 
So go do that. Then I'll get one of the Hulu, Hulu brothers to get that place running. Okay, but inside there, there's also going to be monsters, right? So we're going to learn to fight. Maybe I can get some animal bones in there and I don't have to kill some llamas. That would be nice. Let me, let me re-acquaint myself with what's going on. Right, basket. I'm making another list. <laughs> I need a removable battery, which I have to build, right? So it should be in here, maybe. Uh, battery, battery. And we also have to make five of these DD transport things. I'm going to wait until the mission comes up. Um... Oh, you got it, Blacko! Yay! Well done! <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs> um... Oh, a grill. I was going to make a grill at some point, just because. <clears throat> okay, here's the battery. Marble, power stones. Oh, no, I'm going to have to save my springs. Tin and copper to make bronze. We need eight bronze bars. I can get on that straight away. I think I've got everything else except I need one more spring. So I need two more springs then. And I'm also going to get on making a grill. So, grill. Three copper pipes. Six copper bars. Uh, three pipes. Uh, and then what was the other thing? Battery. Spring. And I think I've got all the other... Oh, and uh, more bronze bars. I need three more, I think. Springs. There we go. <laughs> right, I'm ready. <laughs> Fireworks, hello! Um... I like it when you play games that are on Game Pass so you can assess if you want to play them without having to try them yourself. <laughs> I don't think that's lazy, I think that's fair. Um, this is my tyrant Porsche, it is... It's wild. It's... I mean, I like it. I, like, I can't say that it's great. But it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's an insane game. I'd love to know, like, people in the chat, because a few of you have watched, like, most of my gameplay of it. Like, what do you think of it as a game? Like, I know that I enjoy it to stream. Uh, we always have, like, just random wild shit happening, which I absolutely adore. What do you actually think about it? looks quite tame though it's it's just it's weird i think is the best way to put it it's just weird we live in this crazy little town uh but yeah if you guys like what would you say to fireworks about this game like to just to describe it or like opinions on it Chill to stream, don't think you'd play it. I plead the fifth! <laughs> um, hate how 8% of the male NPCs look like pedos. <laughs> it's, again, it's like, I don't think I would be playing it if I wasn't streaming it. But I find it really funny. It, it is like like comfort food, so I just, I don't know, it's, it's just there. I can't, and like it's so janky sometimes and stupid shit happens and I love it for that. And it doesn't know what it wants to be, it's a bit of everything. And it's fun for that. Giraffe! 
Thank you so much. Need to leave to make some food. Um, it's been a while since some bites have happened, so I'll have some. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Giraffe. Have some great food. Have a great evening. Tenny more chat. Enjoy your remotes, everybody. Thank you so much. I will get down to this thing when I can figure it out. Uh, you'd rather play Ooblitz or Slime Rancher or something. Uh, but you like to see what I'm doing with it. Yeah, it's... It's a very unique game. Right? If you can say anything about it, it's unique. You can't really say it's like Stardew. Or anything. It's its own... It's its own force. <laughs> There's so much bad about it. But... I don't know. That makes it charming to me. <laughs> right, we got out of the spring. Uh, is our bag full? Oh, shite, our bag's full. Right, we better go. Like, why in this... Like, why do we have a jetpack in... Like... <laughs> there's a cult in the town and there's like all sorts of dark shit in the background. Need more cool male romance options. Yes, I agree. Most of the women seem chill and interesting, but the guys all seem pretty shit. The guys are so awful. <laughs> yeah, they definitely need better guys in this game. Slime Rancher does not do a good job of showing you what you can actually do in it. I played Slime Rancher for a little bit um, a couple of weeks ago. Well, a couple, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a couple of months ago, I guess now. Um... I think I only had like one session on it. I like, I like the idea. I liked what I played, but then I'm not interested in going back. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you really like designing efficient automated things, so you're building a self-sustaining slime farm. Oh, nice. Mine was just chaos. Mine was absolute chaos. <laughs> you play Slime Rancher like Factorio. Are <laughs> you still talking about the game? <laughs> uh... Thing is, you've seen someone playing Satisfactory who's played a lot of Factorio and the difference between the game made the transition really awkward for him. Oh, interesting. Uh, right, what? Oh, where's the school? There's the school. I'm gonna go and look for a basket while I'm here. Oh, I can't. I've, I've got a full bag. That's why I'm here. I'm going to empty my bag and then I'm going to find that old lady's basket and be a good, good citizen. And return it to her without stealing anything from inside of it. Because that's what good people do. Uh... What is this? Terrifying. Okay. Okay, right, hold on. Because some of this is used for crafting. Like, I don't know what half of this is. These are the collectibles, so... That. That. Um... I need to put my washing machine in my house. Crafting. Right, let's put this stuff in there. It's a collectible. Um, 
played a lot of Science Factory recently. It was good, and there's some good mods. I've not played that yet. I know I will eventually, but with co-op, is it co-op? It's co-op, isn't it? With you, Crafty and Shadow. I definitely want to do that. It's on Game Pass, right? Uh, real life also needs better male romance options. <laughs> um, also has something going on right now. Having fun making a temporary spaghetti factory. I think... Uh, I don't know if I have like the brain capacity to play those games but it could be fun so I've got springs now all right so I'm gonna put this in the miscellaneous I guess this is actually used to store water okay I'm gonna put that in outside I don't know what this is, but let's just put these in here. I'm gonna put my washing machine in my house. Where's my stone? There. Uh, food. I've got a food thing there. That'll do. Uh, been scrolling through the Game Pass library, struck with choice anxiety. Oh, that's the worst. That yeah, I I do that too. You want a new game to play but can't decide. Just one day, you just gotta think, what type of game do I kind of fancy, and then just find the first thing that comes to mind and just try it. That's usually I have to decide in advance, otherwise I'll be there for an hour and never play a game. <laughs> Um. Woo! I have a washing machine. I'm a proper adult now. Can we use it? Two couches and a washing machine. What else could a person need? It is co-op. You and Shadow always play together. Oh, it's not a Game Pass game. Why have I seen it? I've... Hmm. I thought I saw it on there. Is it on PC then that you play? Oh, your PC wouldn't play Cyberpunk. Damn. We were just having this conversation a little bit before. It's a... Uh, it's a very... high-end game, I guess. For... It doesn't work very well on a lot of people's machines. Planning stage is generally done outside the game for use at least, but making the making stage is just building a beautiful and perfectly aligned set of machines. Oh, I can hear the happiness in your voice. <laughs> How do I drop this then? Oh my god. I don't think I can. Just put it in there. <laughs> so I need to make a battery, right? There. Choose. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is where this game's a bit daft, where, like, it could just. It knows I've got the thing. Why do I have to hold it and place it? Uh, oh, and I've already forgotten what I need. Three power stones, eight bronze bars, three marble. Shite, I need... I might actually have enough bronze bars. That would be wonderful. Um... Yep, 
You would play medium, but medium is extremely ugly. Yeah, that's that's what we were hearing about the PS4. Like it's just quite ugly, <laughs> as amongst other things. So that needs to go in my. Oh no, I needed three. Oh frig, I lost one. I've done that before. Oh, what? <laughs> it's so difficult to manage. Right. Split. I think this is where this game maybe is more optimised for PC. Uh, and it's just... It would be easy to do on PC, but because I'm on a controller, the, it's got all these weird buttons. Oh, Roz is awake. Probably gonna be meow anytime soon. Right, uh, three more bronze bars. Oh no, I don't have enough copper. Shit, I need to go back into the other mines. It's not good. Uh, you got it with Prime. Oh, is that the oh, the chef one? I think I got that somewhere too. There's a few different games I've tried that are like, oh, well, either that I've tried or that I've got for free. But, and I haven't tried. I tried one demo of something during a Steam Game Festival one time. It was like, melts my brain a little bit. What am I, bi what am I doing? This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, eight bronze bars, three marble. I'm pretty sure I've got marble. What does marble look like? Here it is. Now we just need three more bronze bars and then we're done. Sweet. Uh, I guess I'll put them there because I need these. I'll put these in this one. We need animal bones, fuck's sake. And we need to find her basket. I'm going there now. Yo lady, your grandma lost a basket. I think you should go and find Some it. Some jerk stole my bucket I used to feed my chicks. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you put your Christmas factory in Discord. Ooh, I'll have to have a look. You're all about the brain melting. Yeah. Yeah, I totally see that crafty. Sometimes it's nice to just get completely lost in it. Who's this? Oh, Hi. they're the science people. Bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> Is this the school? I think this might be the school. Right, let's snoop around. We're not creepy. I could probably chop these tree down for wood, actually. Ooh. Marble, nice. Replacing what I've just used. It need to go. Oh, you start in ten minutes. Cool. There's no basket here. Oh, no. Is this it?
No? I'm gonna guess that the granny didn't have a grinding blade that she was carrying around in a basket at the school. Oh, you can go inside! Right, we're coming back tomorrow. Want some food, missus? Okay, be happy. <laughs> Right, Rosa's food. <laughs> okay. Right, what were we doing? I didn't even save that. I mean, pause that, did I? I just left it. Oh! There's chests everywhere. How did I miss all these before? Apricot juice. Why would you just leave apricot juice lying around? It's no salad sauce. Right. And then what's this telling me? Not actually sure. Hmm, it could be that. I think we gotta go up the stairs. Don't say it's on the roof. Store? Mysterious man's store. Don't know when he'll be back. Uh, there's so much exploring that I haven't done yet. And I think... Now I need to go in every bush to look for a chest. Collapsed wasteland? Trying your luck with a hazardous ruin? This is a very dangerous area. You'll need to prove yourself worthy. You'll have to last a minute against a local Civil Corps officer in combat. There are three of us. Me, Remington, and Arlo. Any one of us will do. <laughs> oh god! I've got a fighter. <laughs> the gang is gonna beat me up. <laughs> Are you okay, Ross? What was that noise? That's a strange noise. <laughs> one v one me. Are we then? I'm ready. <laughs> Which one's the dodge button again? There we go. I only have to last a minute, right? I don't actually have to hit her. So I can just keep running. <laughs> right? That's... This'll work. Look at her, she's got like lightning powers. Me 
friends. Good enough that I don't have to worry too much. <laughs> Good, did you hear that? <laughs> so the game gives you survive challenges but makes it easy to just sprint in circle. <laughs> you gotta avoid because you get killed in one hit. <laughs> oh, did I say my name was Sam? It's actually Thor. Exactly, like, <laughs> what was that about? Oh, well, now I'm just free to just go in when I want. That was my training. I have a sword. What's the time? Oh, I'm gonna pass out again. Wait, I need to gather this shit. Oh, bamboo. I thought it was like nuclear waste or something, the way that it was glowing. Shit, I'm gonna have to run. Anyone think I'll make it back? Because I don't. <laughs> oh, I can actually take a shortcut. I forgot that I can sprint. I wasn't even sprinting during that 1v1. Quick. Oh, animal poop. Always need this. Good. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> I'll just wake up in bed. There's like no consequences to this game, but I love it for it. See, peaceful night's sleep. Uh, okay. So I do need to go back into that mine again to try and find another spring so that I can make a llama trap. I need to go into the original mine to get some more bronze bars. I've done the commission. I went fishing. I need to find a basket. And I need animal bones, so I could go down to the other place too. Also, I'm growing some shit here. Oh, they're still not ready yet. I'm going in a school. See what weird things happen there. Pinky! <laughs> Stranger! giving attention to a virtual cat. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Little bugger. Right, took out the trash, changed bed sheets, put stuff in the washer and dinner's almost ready. Nice, sassy. Nice. That was me last night when I was supposed to be <laughs> on Shadow's stream. And then I realised, like, I was just trying to do everything I got ready and then I was like fuck I don't have any sheets on my bed so I had to make my bed and everything was a disaster but um it's hard being an adult I took my trash out and I fucking the bin fell over while I was trying to get it down the step out my yard and it was like late at night so I was trying to be quiet and I was just stood there defeated <laughs> I'm sure my neighbours would have been looking at me wearing my hoodie with my dressing gown on top stood staring at my bin on the ground. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is the voice you use when you talk to me. I feel betrayed. <laughs> yep, that's what she... Like, she was looking at me too. Like, with big eyes. Oh, look! They got the same couches as me. <gasps> Pinky came to school with me. Hey, you little shit. What you doing? I'm gonna throw my homework in the fountain. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey. 
I hope they catch the thief soon. I don't want to see any danger near my kids. Can I catch the thief, please? I want to do it. Hey, which way are you going? Toby didn't do it on purpose. Don't be too hard on him. What did Toby do, missus? I'll be the judge of that. Do you want to buy some flowers? Straight from my sis's garden. Nah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. What is going on? So this is the school. Doing maths. One times one equals one. One times two equals two. One times three equals three. One plus one equals two. All correct. Right. Anyone seen a bask? Ooh. Basket. <gasps> a small satchel. Will that make me have more space? Oh. Can you spar the librarian? I think so. <laughs> That's not what I was aiming for. Wait, that's just something I wear? It doesn't even give me more space? Oh, it gives me more HP. <laughs> also, now that I'm rich, I can buy more, more slots, actually. I don't know how. I've forgotten how, but... <laughs> Need to become a buddy to Lucy to enter. I wonder if you become everyone's friends, you can enter the houses and get extra items, I'm gonna guess. I'll wait until she gets to the front before I challenge her. <laughs> Thanks for the clip. <laughs> oh my god, she's never gonna get there. There she goes. Stop playing around and pay attention. <laughs> oh no, don't say I broke the game. <laughs> oh, we're outside. Right, how do I dodge again? Alright, here we go. Ah! This is run into a slump. <laughs> All right. Get here. <laughs> Is there any more combat buttons other than just square? <laughs> as long as I don't run into a slaps, I should win this. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. Quickly. My first legit win. I got some herbs. <laughs> Yay! And that, kids, is a lesson for you all. Oh, Toby's been in the ruins. Toby isn't even here. What is she saying? <laughs> well, there's no basket in here. Can't go through there. So much to do still. I need to empty my bag first, I think. Uh, if I can figure out how to... Make this bigger. Ah, uh, there we go. Six hundred. Worth it. Okay. Oh, what my lovely. You want some more? You've got food. I don't know what you're asking for.
Oh yeah, I want to see what's in here. I keep- I just get so distracted. This game is really easily distracting. You aim to do one thing. And then suddenly you're doing another thing. And you've forgotten about the first thing. But it's fine, because there's no consequences. Oh no, we got an invisible wall. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Giant pigeon. Spawns instantly. Nice. <laughs> so, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, there's stuff over there, I guess. Past these birds. I think I can swerve them. fuck was that thing that's just phased through the earth? The little penguin dinosaurs? A slurpee? Holy shit. <gasps> There's a gang of slurpees trying to kill me. It's fine. They don't chase me apparently. There's something on the other side of this wall. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Right. This is a whole nother world. I don't even want to be here right now. Oh my god. We're going back because I want to be, I've got other things to do. I want to be productive for the rest of the week. Shit, I'm lost. I'll take this. A strange mirror that's going in my house. Whose house is this? Is this your house? Hello. Dr. Sue is a great doctor. I'm studying under him to learn everything I can. Then hopefully, open my own clinic one day. Why don't you just marry him then? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> right. I think I know where there's... Right, okay. There's the bridge. So I'm actually going to go over there as well and see what's over there. While I'm here. There must be a way over there, there's a path. But we cannot swim. Yes, Rosie! I'll open you a new packet. 
All right, BRB. Cat needs food. <laughs> All right, she's fed. <laughs> yeah, meow. She just, she's got food, but she just won't eat the beef. She doesn't like the beef flavor like she did. But I've opened a chicken one and she's eating that now, so. Oh, what's this? Oh. Better pickaxe. I still can't go in. Oh, look, there's a chest up there. Snail Bob. I can't. Hmm. How the heck would I climb up there? for the three months hello thank you for the emote too hold on i'm 2020 delivery <laughs> thank you for the three months how are you all right jump nope is this just herbs Oh, coriander. Guess I'll take some of that. Okay. I'm so overwhelmed with everything that I've said I'm gonna do. Alright, the next thing I'm doing tomorrow is going back to the... the ruins. In the meantime, I'm going to do something that I'm going to hate myself for. And I'm really sorry about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need your bones. Oh, there's no bones. Let's just do it quickly. Bones. This is horrendous. I hate it. They're so defenseless. And only every other one has bones. I'm not doing them ones while they're asleep. Do these ones.
too. <laughs> Shit. Um, you've had your dreams crushed and then went to take a shower, accidentally put body wash on your hair, thinking it was shampoo, and reinvigorated yourself to keep trying in the span of 30 minutes. That's a roller coaster. I'm so sorry that if things haven't been good, um, but I'm glad that you're managing to turn it around. Like, I, I did. I had a mistake with my shampoo today, actually, as well. Um, oh, but yours was the opposite. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess shit happens, eh? Um, I'm glad that. I guess you're doing good. <laughs> You got this. Oh my god, I'm just slaughtering llamas. I'm so sorry. Right, I've got I've got all the bones that I need. That's all I needed. Thank you for your service. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Where's my house? There it is. Well, we are getting rich. We are upgrading everything. We are on our last week of spring. Um, summer begins next week. Obviously, if it's the last week of spring. <laughs> right, I'm upgrading my sword. Nice, and then I need spines. So I need to go and kill some sea urchins. But I'm going to have to do that tomorrow because I'm going to pass out. I can put some of this stuff away. You put your shampoo on and then pumped out some body wash, applied it like shampoo, then didn't know what you were putting on your head until you looked at the bottle. And you were like, wow. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Everyone does stuff like that. Just, uh, you just got to laugh it off. Um, yeah, I do stupid shit like that. I, well, today it was, um, it wasn't that bad. I put, I was, <laughs> I was washing my hair and I'd already done the shampoo and then I was meant to do the conditioner, but I squirted like about two portions of shampoo onto my hand again. And I was like, fuck's sake, I've already shampooed my hair and now I've just wasted another, like, load of it. So I tried to like put it back in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it's I got there eventually I now have clean hair <laughs> and some shampoo left in the bottle so apricot juice is for stamina let's put that in the food category grinding blade essential part of the blender uh, I'll put that in miscellaneous I think Um, uh, what's this actually for? Don't know. We've got bread. Keep that. Oh, we're full of food. We never use food. Herbs. Animal feces is not food. I guess it goes in here pumpkin seeds we can grow some pumpkins nice coriander fur colorful fur i'm gonna put my mirror in my house it's really clean now yeah exactly <laughs> clean hair is the best i hate washing my hair but when it's done i love it so much easier that's why i used to have my hair like shorter it's so much easier to wash like, it's weird how much harder it is to wash it when it's longer <laughs> uh... all right what's next you don't quite do that but you have done gross things like if toothpaste falls out the tube under the counter you use that instead of getting more i mean as long as it's not dirty right <laughs> Brox hasn't had short hair since he was like 12. Grendis hasn't had long hair until now. <laughs> Opposites. I've just had a mixture back and forth. 
<clears throat> I get, I grow it and then I get sick of it and then I keep it shorter and then get sick of it and grow it out. But now it's like the longest it's been since I was a kid. <laughs> I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need to brush. It takes so much more like effort. This is the problem. <laughs> I'm a low, low maintenance person. Uh, but it's actually not so bad. It's very easy to manage because it's like doesn't really knot or anything like that. It just it's very straight and flat. How? No, 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 Ros, Ros. No, no, not the laptop, Mrs. Ros, no. Oh my god, she's done something. <laughs> All right. Um You had really long hair until 2014. When you went to the army and since 16 have started growing it back and it's pretty long now. Oh, cool. I think mine's been growing for about like, it's definitely been a year. Where should I put my mirror? Here. Can I do anything with it? Oh, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. Uh... A benefit that you didn't know about long hair, at least for you, is that your long hair is really low maintenance. Barely get bed head. I find... Well, it, it also depends what you call short and what you call long. So, like, my short is, like, shoulder length. My long is, like, waist length. <laughs> and, um... Shoulder length I found really easier to manage. Um... But uh, it... <laughs> There's pros and cons because long hair is easier to get out of the way. Short hair always just falls out of the bobble, which is annoying. You love your hair. I like my hair. It needs a trim. I think I'm finally happy with it, like with the colour and stuff. Uh, I used to change it a lot. There's nothing wrong with changing it, like, it, it is fun. I quite enjoy changing it. Uh, I had a plan. And I've already forgotten what it was. I need to find that basket. Around the school. Oh, and that's going to run out of time. I need to find the basket and then I need to go into the cave um your long hair is shoulder length waist length sounds scary it yeah it's really long for me um hey pinky oh and you my lovely come on then i say hey pinky and ros jumps onto my knee your short hair is army hair, your long hair is waist length, everything else is somewhere in the middle which is bad. <laughs> your black hair is literally the only thing you like about yourself, appearance wise. Mine's like, naturally is only like a really dull dark brown, but I dye it like, dark, darker brown, so it's more like vibrant. Uh, but then my roots grow in, and they're quite, they're very dull. And they look grey, so I have to, like, remember to dye it. It needs dyeing right now, actually. But, um... I do keep wondering. I don't think, like, you know when you donate hair? I don't think that they take it if it's dyed, right? Because I was like, I'm gonna get sick of this long hair eventually and want to cut it off. Uh... And then I was like, maybe I could donate it, but I don't think they take dyed hair. That's just my waypoint, so I don't know why I keep following it. Oh, there's another fishing shop. A harbour? Have I been to the harbour? There's a bridge at the harbour? Or, or it might just be a pier. 
All right, I need to go. Right, that that needs to go on the list. I need to go to the harbour. I also need to go and check if the tree farm is open because I don't remember. But I need to find this basket. Okay, somewhere around the school. I looked everywhere. She really. If anyone sees a basket. Please show. Hey, Pinky. It's definitely not in here. We can't even loop around, okay. They don't take dyed hair, yeah. So I wouldn't even be able to do that. I'm not planning on getting it cut at the minute though. I do, I am enjoying it long. It's different. You can kind of do more with it. Oh my God, do you think we can go all the way around? is way longer than the front and you have some splits i think all of mine is split at the end so i really need a trim but yeah i haven't had mine trimmed for like i can't remember when i had it done that's how long ago it was higgins higgins let me in let me in <sighs> Barbershop? Let me in. I'm not the thief, I promise. Where's a basket? Oh my goodness, Porsche Times. Amber Island Bridge now open. More news coming. Days just fly by in here. Yeah, he is. Noob. Oh, he is. Linda. <laughs> Alright. Hi. Although having a thief around is good for our business, it's not so good for our town. I want to know where this thief story is going. Oh, what's this about a thief in town? Interesting. I can just casually carry my ex around. No one's gonna care, right? Nothing in here that's that I can borrow. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find that basket. Hello. Hi. Hi. If there's a thief around town, we'll find him. Don't worry. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. I'd give you a fish, but I don't think you'd like it. Polly, have you got the old lady's basket in here? No. Nope. What about you, Carol? Nope. It's gonna be on the roof, isn't it? What's this? Power on, dangerous, do not touch. Oh, that's good. Sam's home. 
Now I can just explore everybody's homes. I suppose I usually come here at midnight, so they're all locked. Oh, that's her who we fought. Well, yeah, we fought. <laughs> Kicked her ass. Imagine just coming home and finding us just sat there, like, <laughs> with our miners hat and axe. Just that's so chill. We've got the same mirror. Right. Now I'm just getting wasting time from what I'm supposed to be doing. There's the jump button. It's probably up in this tower. No. It's not here. Oh god, there's the bell. I can't even get back up, right. Oh. Is that it? Is that it? Basket! What a stupid place to leave a basket! <laughs> I knew it would be on the roof. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, look, there's a treasure. Give me treasure. Four isn't a strong word. I kicked her ass. <laughs> right, where is Sophie? She's at home. What is this? Oh, it's a fishing spot. Okay. We're doing good at deeds. It's fine. Take the basket back. Go up to the ruins. Find some springs. Oh, check on the tree farm while we're along this way. the wrong way. Kill a chicken field. Right. Don't be close. Don't be close. Good. My basket. I can't <coughs> thank you enough. You're welcome. Just don't put it on roofs and you won't lose it. It's that easy. The water I think tank. we might have a commission for you. We're in need of a water tank at my farm. Can you make one for me? In return, I'll give you my pumpkin pie. That doesn't seem like a fair exchange. But I'll do it for you. Let's see. <coughs> water tank. Make a tank, a water tank for Sophie. Hmm. That should be easy, actually. Um. <laughs> she wants us to fit a water tank, water tank into her house and in exchange we get one meal. Yep, <laughs> I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. <laughs> well, I haven't really been over here neither, I don't think. I think it's, maybe it did open up, I'm not sure. No, I think it's still closed. 
Oh, you're new in town as well? I just moved here a little while ago. Name's Adit. Hey, Adit. I run into some danger when I'm out on my walks through nature. <coughs> but I always find a way to hide or run away. Haha, -ha, I don't want to disturb the balance. That's good. That's good skills. <coughs> Still under maintenance. Hmm. Right, I'm not going... Hold on. Corona. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd be very unlucky if I had that right now because I like don't see anybody. Well, except at work. Even then. I don't feel ill, I just suddenly got a cough. <laughs> Oh god, don't. That would be so typical. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna get Corona for Christmas. <laughs> I shouldn't, because I don't have anywhere else to go now. Right, let's just mine until we pass out. Sounds like a good plan. Forgotten where it is. Sounds poetic in a weird way, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bad, you always somehow think you got it whenever you cough. Yeah. It does make you think of that. But um I think I would feel worse if I had that. Well then yeah, it is crazy how some people have it and don't even know they have it. So... I would definitely be very unlucky if I did have it right now. It was just like... So little contact. I'll have a headache, yeah. Thing is like as well, people are probably getting ill less because of less contact with people. So like, there's probably less regular colds and flu going around as well, which is crazy. That's the scariest part. Sometimes I think I could be a spreader without even knowing it. Exactly. That's the whole. That's the exact reason why I'm not training. Um, like I don't really worry about that just because. I don't have any contact really with anyone at the moment, so I don't have to worry about that. But that's why I can't wait for things to just start being better again. I'm not having to worry. Alright. Please be a spring. Please be a spring. Oh. Old paths. Not what I was after, but... I think this is what you're supposed to do. While you're still down here, you use your, your thing. Instead of going back up like I do every time. <clears throat> Magic lamp pieces. We might have that full relic, actually, then. I should take it to the science place and see if they'll give me an oven. Like they promised. As soon as I've got the spring, though, I can stop mining here for a while. A oh, spring! There we go. Oh, well, I might as well finish the night. Because then... I can go back to the old mines and finish all the jobs that I've got ongoing that I can't do right now. Oh, 
Maybe I would play this game if I wasn't streaming. I've been thinking about it, I don't know. Cause like, I got way into Stardew. And this does have similar things. But it's just not. At all. <laughs> like it, like, I don't know. Alright. I still might as well just pass out here, so... Let's do this one. Oh, I've already done it. Right, cool. And maybe I can just collect some of those colourful... ...soil... ...things. don't think there's, there's any more. Oh, there is. I'll just keep going for the dots. You feel like you'd really benefit from a life simmy game like this. Haven't played much of anything seriously for months now. Things you do play are things you've liked for years, but you find really boring now. Oh yeah, that sounds like... Like, this one is a bit strange. I still don't know... It's hard to recommend. It depends what you like in a game. I don't know if you've played Stardew Valley, but if you haven't, and if you're after a life simmy game, Stardew Valley is the one that I recommend. It's so, like, I don't know, it's just so satisfying. Because especially the fact that it's made by one person. But, like, I just found myself playing it for so long and learning new things all the time. And I just loved it for that. There's so much more depth than I expected. Your favourite game right now is Stream Raiders, which is effectively just an idler. Stream Raiders? I don't think I've heard of that. <clears throat> You'll not play this game for a reason that's unrelated to the game, but rather the dev team. Oh, right, okay. Well, um, yeah, my recommendation would be Stardew Valley. But... I'm trying to think of any others. I know there are tons of life sim type indie games, like either that are already out or being worked on. But I haven't played enough of them to have a list of which ones I would recommend and which ones I wouldn't. But I do have a wish list full of them. <laughs> Brox is ready with the pitchforks. Oh no, I passed out. Again. It's a good week to pass out. Is it the Saturday? I feel like the last two streams, I like, had really productive weeks, and then this week I've just done nothing. Oh, that's not true. I've nearly built the battery. Oh, I can build my trap. Sort out my bag, I think. <clears throat> yeah, there's only two more days. When this game was in development, they requested that a site that you're a member of, Voice Acting Club, oh, to provide auditions. Then they never got back to any of the actors and just put the auditions directly into the game? That's messed up. How can they even get away with that? No compensation to the voice actors and instead pitch the game directly as it was. So they literally took people's voice... Wait. They took people's voice auditions and just used them as voice acting in the game. Is that what you mean? Ooh, lead ore. Nice. Uh, where are my 
power stones there, there, there. Uh, that can go in there. Collectibles in there. Actually, what was this one? Oh, power lamp. Magic lamp. need to make a thing for the old lady. A water thing, wasn't it? I don't actually know how to make that. But this is what I wanted to make. A trap box. I need two wooden boards. Should be able to do that, no problem. So as soon as they're done, we can make a trap box and trap a llama. Um, there's no legal protection since they intentionally went to indie voice actors who aren't part of an organisation thing, I think. They tried this with a BAFTA or SAG, I don't want to butcher it, actor and then that's a different story. Is that like a union? Oh yeah, this is why things like unions are so important. Yeah, that's a really shitty thing to do. Uh, Non-union has no protection from this. Right. It's... Uh, I, I still don't understand how you can get away with that. Like, she really... I don't know. That's, it's messed up, right? <laughs> um... Oh, wait, I didn't even put my skill point into the dodge. Oh well, I have now. Twice. Oh, I hadn't confirmed it. That's why. Okay. Uh... Wait a second, please. Sword. The practice sword is getting worn. I need a new one for my morning exercise. How about it? Okay. A bronze sword. know how and oh, these are timed missions too okay oh no I need I don't even have any bronze yet the dev team eventually paid out actors after their pitch demo when the game was already clearly gonna be a hit and also apologized claiming they didn't know although this had been reported a ton of steam forums and brought to the original the original boards they were casting from. Yeah. Can't help but feel like they only did it because they wanted to get fully voiced characters, which they definitely couldn't do with just audition files. Hmm, it's... That's tricky. Like, yeah, it's a bit shady. Uh... So I did the basket. Right, I need to go back to the original mines and I need to kill some sea urchins but I think the original mines are more useful right now oh I don't remember where they are here they are <clears throat> Yes. You wanted to bring this up for a while, but you didn't because it kind of sells the experience. I mean, I got the game for free anyway, so. <laughs> I try and keep things separate. Like, what are you doing in here, you little shit? 
I mean, it, yeah, it's not like a perfect game. I just play for the lols. Um, did you hear about there being thieves in town? Scary, huh? I'm gonna find them and beat them up good. Maybe Toby is me. Did you hear about... Oh, I've just read that. <laughs> Alright, you do you, Toby. Um... Oh, we, is this still our old tunnel? I think I need to use the thing outside. Yeah, that's a really shitty thing though. Like, it's important to hear about things like that. Yes. Right, we've got a fresh room. So we should be able to find some more stuff. Definitely the biggest scandal you've been in part as part of being part hold on let me try and read that in the right order definitely the biggest scandal that you've been part of in voice acting yeah it's not like it's not good really is it it's not something that you really want to be a part of but um i guess it happens it's like a lot of industries have these things that you don't know about until you're in it and then you're like that sucks <laughs> but yeah hopefully I feel like with all of these things like if when you do go through something like that like you can often learn from it so like at least now you know if anything seems a bit dodgy you now have the experience to be like yeah no not not don't want to be a part of that. Um, and it gives you some, you know, foresight if things are going to go downhill. Because you get signals of things that happened last time. So I don't think, like, I think it can, I mean, it's shit that it happens. But it's also good to experience sometimes just for awareness and... Because, yeah, everything is not as you expect it to be, usually. <laughs> At least from my experience. Nice, we are stocking up on that copper ore. You've seen a lot of scams in voice acting. This one just seemed particularly innocuous. You actually auditioned for it a long time ago. No idea if your voice was used in the demo since they didn't provide credits. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Right. Uh... This is so chill. I'm just having a nice time. <laughs> I'm just completely vibing. Got plenty of tin too from this, which is really nice. So now we should be able to make bronze and copper shit. And it's only midday, so we can actually use the rest of the day. I think if I if I leave now, might as well. Oh yeah, so now oh I'll be able to finish that battery this week. And then if I don't get into the cave this week, then it's the first thing that I can do on the next stream. Hey, Toby. Oh, 
Okay. Oops, someone's glitching over there. Runs is what I need, right? I think. Shame. Eight bronze bars. And I have bronze or copper. Bronze. Eight bronze bars. And I have five, six, seven, eight. Three more. I think I might just put five on just because I can. I'm gonna be running out of wood soon as well. That's not good. Were you hot or cold on the video game awards? Is that hold on, BG is is that the game awards that was on last night? Before I answer that question. Is that what that means? Oh, these are done. Yep. <laughs> um, I was kind of a bit like it was fun. It wasn't like the best show that I've seen this year. But I enjoyed, you know, we, we streamed it, we, we were in chat, we had a laugh. Um, it was fun talking about the games. But there was nothing like that stood out. So... I'm kind of neutral, like... But I feel like I got spoiled because the first show that I ever watched was the PlayStation, the PS5 reveal. And it was so good and it had reveals like it had the Demon Souls trailer and it had Resident Evil Village which was my favourite reveal and like Goosebump type reveals and then ever since then I've always wanted another show like that and they never quite live up to it. Um, but yeah it was fine, I don't know. Uh, you watched it with another stream and came away pretty cold. Why is that Grendis? Um, I mean I wasn't hot but I don't think I was cold. I was just kind of medium. Just there. For shits and giggles. <laughs> uh, let's plant some cotton and some pumpkins. I don't even need that old lady's pumpkin pie. I could make my own. Oh, I was gonna make the trap, wasn't I? Which I can now do. Right, let's go and place it. That's tiny. That's not gonna fill armor in it. <laughs> what the heck? I think it might grow when I put it down. <laughs> I'm catching some baby llamas. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have lettuce or cumin. Why am I gonna get that? And I only have one aroma apple. Okay, well, can I just place it without the stuff in just to get it out of the way? No. Fuck's sake, right, well, that's there for whenever I get to do it. You are actually relaying information during the stream to someone else in the stream, talking to someone in Discord and trying to manage a dumb bingo card that you made for predictions. Oh, so it was more like you were trying to manage mission control than actually watching the show. <laughs> Maybe you uh, had a little bit much going on there. 
Uh, to be fair, I think some of those things can help make it better. I think it's more fun watching it with friends. Hello. Oh, another loyal customer just appeared. I am called the Mystery Salesman. Always a pleasure. The Mystery Salesman or the Mysterious Man? I collect goods from the free cities every month. I'm just used to this kind of life. A wedding ring? An engine? One leg dining table? Oh, Pinky might like a paw mat. Oh, that could be useful, but money though. Ooh, a hat! Level, what level am I? Required level 10. I might buy this hat. Increases match, ma max HP by 100. Piano bench. A lucky sack. Broken mirror. Cat's bed! <gasps> Damn it. Right, well, I think I'm gonna buy. Oh, the shattered mirror. You give this to your spouse to divorce them? <laughs> wow. Um, and it costs 43,000 pounds. Damn. Uh, I think I might buy the hat for myself and then next time he comes round. Oh God, there's more. Uh, deluxe fishing kit, crafter's toolbox. Sweetheart cake. Ooh, a golden necklace. Painting. Oh, look, it's a pin of Pinky. <gasps> Used to change the cat's name. Oh, no, I don't need to change the cat's name. A dog house? Oh, there's another hat. I might as well just get the more expensive one. I can afford it. <gasps> Paint the walls and modify the wall colour. God damn it. Why doesn't this guy come here more often? Special giant seed. For the autumn festival. Oh no. No, I'm not even reading that. Alright, this is cool. Why isn't there a shop with all this stuff in? Because I, I want to change my house. But if he only comes once a month, I guess I need to save up my money. So while I'm saving my money, let me just buy myself a hat. <laughs> Thank you. Good sir. There we go. Whoa, it's big. There, we look cool in our new hat. Um, Greg Kassovin, the writer of Hades, is also your game industry hero, and plus Hades was really good. So you were hoping the Hades would win Game of the Year? Yeah, okay. Uh, giggity, what did I say? <laughs> Fuck. Um, it doesn't really help that I also wasn't watching it with friends and just a new group that you thought you could mesh with well. Then fighting over Last of Us started and so it felt like a massive waste of time. Oh, really? Uh, is it easy to get gold or is this stuff extremely expensive? I don't think it's very easy to get gold. I got like 2,000 gold for one job. Other than that, I tend to just get 100 at a time and not very often. So, but I think once you get better at making money and being productive, it might be more doable. I just haven't found a flaw of working yet because you can do commissions and stuff. Um, but I haven't figured out the flaw of actually earning cash yet. <laughs> 
So I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's just a progression thing. So there's the cave, which is on its way. Those I'm just forgetting about for now. Oh my god, that's gonna take ages. Ros, 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 Ros. Good girl. Uh, so I'm gonna store this. I'm gonna store these. I'm gonna need another wooden crate. <laughs> I'm already running out of space again. Have I got wood though? So this is the kind of thing that gets someone nerves with other games where you have limited storage. Like, give me all the storage. I'll just continue making more of these. I don't mind that. Um, just don't limit me, man. Like, let me collect every single thing that I see. Right, let's put my hat in there and my spring. I need spines for my sword. That's going for that. Uh, then I need to do some copper. Right, it's time for some spines so I can upgrade my solid. And then even when you've got nothing else to do and you don't know what to do, you can just go exploring or you can just do commissions. You can kind of just choose what you want. I need to build the transport system. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm going to do that. You can only build one thing at a time on that workbench. You can also upgrade everything. And that seems to cost a lot of gold too. Should be some sea urchins around here. Those things over there. With the umbrellas on their heads. Alright, there's some. Look at how short my hair's gone now. Right, I need... Right, so that was one. So I need to kill four more. If they all drop. Two more. Stay away from them mad, mad crabs. They die so easily now. Remember when it was like dangerous for me to be doing this? I've got five. There we go. Those are the maddest crabs. I might try one just to see what it drops. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I didn't see what it dropped because I was too busy fighting everything at once. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Seaweed. Is that what the crab dropped? Oh, I can upgrade my sword again now. So that that was the, that was why I did that. Okay. Uh... Oh, <laughs> the way things spawn is quite weird in this game sometimes. Literally just appear out of nowhere in front of your eyes. Alright, 
There we go. Now I have the best sword that I can make right now. And I think if I want to upgrade it more, I have to upgrade my bench. So that's where we stand with that. Uh, I don't think I need any more planter boxes. My cheeks, man. My cheeks. Uh, we've got so much meat. Like, what do we do with it? I was going to build a grill. I think I need one more bronze bar as well. So if I put my meat away... <laughs> The spines can go in here. The seaweed. This is what I need. Uh, I need to go back to the science center so that can go on next week's list. Done. Uh, one more bronze bar. Oh, I'm really glad that this is done, actually. And I don't know how long it'll take before one more of these is done. You know what? I'm desperate for a pee. So I'm actually going to take a quick pee break. I know there's only one day left. Um, and then I'll stop the stream. But I really need a pee. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna be quick. I will just see you in a sec.
I'm back. Hello. Kat is doing so well with her food. Bless her. Oh, hold on one second. I've got one more thing I need to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, okay, I'm back. <laughs> I will be organised. Okay. Where are we at? Continue. I was just hoping for this bar, wasn't I, to hurry up and cook, so... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so... What day is it? <laughs> it's Friday. What's everyone doing for the weekend? Anybody have any nice plans? I'm uh I don't <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. I want to record maybe stream on Sunday if Brox wants to do portal. Maybe. D and D, ah yeah, weekend is D and D time. I love that. That's so cool. I love how many people in the community play. I need to catch up on the podcast. Because I haven't listened to the latest one. So I need to catch up on that. Is anyone watching um, the game that everyone else is playing right now? Is anyone watching that at the same time? If so, how's that going? Because... I need to look and see what it actually is because I don't I don't know what it is. You're not. I'm I'm kind of intrigued because I've never I don't know what it is. <laughs> never heard of it, but um Ta da Right, let's get that out of the rain, because that shouldn't be in the rain. Uh, watch it for like 10 minutes. Oh, and everyone was talking over each other. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look and see what it's like. But yeah. Oh, there's, there's the water tank that I have to make. I thought I'd seen that somewhere. Fairly easy construct for a beginning builder. Four wooden boards. Five stone bricks. For a pumpkin pie. Four wooden boards, five stone bricks. Do I have time if I fall asleep? Uh, nah, I need... I need more wood. <laughs> What's it last time you played? Mirror and Squid's perspectives is pretty messy. Is it co-op? Or I'm guessing it's co-op. Not competitive, like versus. Yeah, it is. Cool. Just because there's not that like it's hard to find co-op games sometimes. Uh, so I'm always interested to see like what there is and how they play like and what you actually do cooperatively <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something for tomorrow because I was like I'm gonna record tomorrow and then I was like shit I can't record tomorrow but why so another thing we're gonna have to build though as well is 
these. That's a lot of materials. Bronze bars, copper bars. Hold on, wooden boards. Leather. Skyver or a skeeva. Wooden bridge. Oh, I haven't got, okay, I need to build one of these. Bronze pipes, oh my god, bronze bars. So I need to spend more time in that mine. Marble plank times one, that's what I can set away. Oops, that's not what I was aiming for. All right, we've got one of them going, so at least we've got one item. <laughs> and then once these are finished, we can see what we actually need to do. There are many co-op games coming out next year. Yeah, I mean, if you ever want to play a four-player zombie co-op experience, 2021 is the time to be. Uh, right, I need to go down to the thing. It's like 2D Sea of Thieves. Oh, in terms of how everyone should be doing something on the submarine. That actually sounds really interesting. I kind of want to play Sea of Thieves. seems fun to just like like it doesn't seem oh I don't know actually I've only seen it once because I watched it when uh, Luckless played it with Crafty and Shadow and I don't remember if they had a fourth person but um I really like the vibe of it like just being a pirate if that's the right game the problem with Sea of Thieves is you would not call it a co-op game. Alright. Because can you kind of play it on your own? Oh, competitive PvP. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. That's true. It's different. I'm surveying this cave. The man wants me to set up a haunted cave here. If you're going in, stock up on health items, since it's still dangerous inside. Nice. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't have health items, but I'm gonna see what's inside anyway. If you want the best pirate PvP game, though, it's definitely that. Yeah, it is totally a different vibe doing co op. Uh, just like offline, well, offline co op isn't what I mean, but um. Money! <gasps> money, 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 money. I saw something around this corner. Oh, it's a snail lob. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god, I just keep... No! <laughs> Why do I just fly in it? <laughs> Mucus meat in a shell. You love offline co-op, that's why you like RPGs. Yeah, I've never... Like... So I used to play couch co-op games on the PS2, say. Oh my god! <laughs> um, but since then, like since I've actually been into gaming, I've never, like, played much co-op. Until, like, I've started playing online with everyone here. It's really fun. Um, and then, like, a massive... Cumulation of that is Portal, which is obviously just the traditional two player co op, which I haven't done for such a long time, but we had such a laugh with it. Whoa, there's a giant thing in there. And I think, yeah, like, I think one of the reasons it's so enjoyable is, and it's so relaxed is because you're not fighting against anybody else it's just co-op um you guess you should play a single player co-op since offline co-op is actually a thing yeah it's hard to describe what we mean but i think i know what you mean 
As good as Portal 2 is, you think it's sad that Portal 2 is still one of the best co-op games to this day? I know, I had no idea that it was so good. So then it's really disappointing to go online and look for ideas for similar games. And then be like, yeah, there is none. <laughs> well, we've got some ideas, but like, <clears throat> for a similar experience. It's just apparently just the best. There are no similar games, it's sad. Yeah, it's a shame. And that's kind of what I was hoping was going to come out of this year. Right, I guess we're going to have to challenge this big thing, but I'm going to die. But hopefully I can run out. If you don't try, you don't get. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we're in Dark Souls. We're in Dark Souls. I'm fighting my first actual boss. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh my God. So, I learned by watching people play, you gotta be patient playing these games, right? Like, take your hits and then get the fuck out. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I need to run. Can I eat this meat? Can I eat? Oh my god, it's coming. Oh my god, it's ch- Oh, I didn't think it would come. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, I can eat these mushrooms. Uh, please tell me I can eat raw meat. Uh, restores 10. Mm, so 30. 60. I think that I'll die still. What about the fish? Nope. Fuck. Did someone say Paul to your cop? Yeah, we're we talking about like, um, there's no other, like, nothing like it. You need to spam your Estus flask. <laughs> Oh, um, it's probably not worth, oh no, it's gone back up to 100% because I've left, fuck. This actually did turn into Dark Souls. I should come back with more healing. <laughs> what are you doing, my lovely? Come on. There now. Okay. Let's... Uh, we can look in our food drawer. See what we've got. Because I wouldn't mind finishing this today. Killing that boss. I would have done more damage if I hadn't pressed the wrong button earlier. Was that a story quest boss or something? I think so because... I have to put a generator in their minds. And I can't, like, did you see the force field around it? I think I have to kill that boss to get rid of the force field. So I can't progress until I've done it. That marble plank's done. Nice. Right, have I got any... Hold on. don't have any of them so what have I got then food I need to save my aroma apples stamina oh I've got 70 herbs and they all restore 10 HP 
that's what we need herbs for. Honey. Oh yeah, we need to cook this meat, so we do need to make our grill. That's where that's all gonna come in. I get it. Herbal mixture. 60 HP. I think I'll leave it until tomorrow. So that my health will come back up naturally. Oh, and the berries too. So my health can come back up naturally. And then I'll, I'll take like a bunch of stuff with me to do it. Because I mean, I know that I can do that. That wasn't very difficult, but... Um, I'm also not good at these games. <laughs> right. But at least now we have a reason to make a grill, too. Get rid of this stuff. Uh, so this is actually done, and this is done, so we're fresh. So we can start again with everything we've got to build. So we need, we've got the marble plank. We need two bronze pipes. Which we create with four bronze bars. Oh, don't tell me I used my bronze bars. I did, didn't I? Bronze bars anywhere? So I need two more bronze bars. And then that finishes that. I can make one bronze pipe. Uh, and then... Oh, cool. Something like that might be worth it. To get a defense bonus. I could also make a shell necklace if I get some raw. Which I can build with my new thing, okay. We're getting there. Oh, and then we can make this. Oh, but we, uh, what? We need herbal juice from a blender. Which I guess we'll then put herbs in. Where are we gonna get a blender? That's a powerful force field generating snail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really was. Uh, right. What was the other thing I was gonna build? The leather thing. And then there was something else. Oh, a grill. A grill. We'll just see what we get the stuff for first. So I need six copper bars, three copper pipes, ten wood. What have I got? I know I've got some copper. I've got three. And I need six. So I need three copper and fuck's sake. Three copper and two bronze. Put the bronze on first, I think. Nah, I'm gonna put the copper on first. Oh, and that's all of my wood. God damn it. Make a pipe. Might as well get one done while things are waiting. Well, there's more stuff here. A pulley. Um, what can we use this for? Bearing. Venom darts. Right, okay. Nothing is any in any rush just yet. 
Uh, gotta wait for them. We could do with money. So I guess we can just mine while we wait. Kind of all we got to do right now. Mine or explore. Really? Oh, oh no, we need trees. We need wood. That's important. All the trees have grown back now, so I should try and make a habit of chopping them all down again. What do I get from this? Plant fibre. And maybe everything will get a boost when the summer starts, because this is like the end of the spring. This is literally the last day of the spring. And then I'm definitely going to start looking into upgrading my workbench because we've made nearly everything on it now. Except like cosmetic stuff. Oh, it's nice that you can just go and stock up and then it lasts for a while. Oh, that was hardwood as well. I'm sure one time I spent a whole stream looking for hardwood. <laughs> You wish you got a boost when summer starts. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I kind of do like a little bit. Um, spring, I think, is my least favorite season. It just feels so long. Like it's always so cold. <laughs> I'm like, just give me some warmth, please. And then we have like one week of it being really warm, which is enough. And then autumn's the best. Autumn's my favorite. And then winter again. Which just feels like the most longest, like it's always winter, unless it's a heat wave in the summer. And then other than that, it's winter. I guess my body doesn't regulate temperature very well. <laughs> This is so chill. I wonder if the aesthetic changes as well um, with the new season. I'm gonna guess it should. Did I pick that up? Yeah. You'd hope it does. Yeah, it, you would think it would. My axe is so good now. Two swings and the tree is done. I'm so disappointed in my llama trap. Where am I going to get lettuce? I wanted to start a llama farm. I think this is hardwood. But I'm gonna chop it down anyway. Oh damn, I've used all my stamina. The sun is setting on the final day of spring. Look at us in our heart. With our axe. This is a moment that I would take a photo of if it had taught us how to use the camera. It's weird how there's such a massive difference in the quality of things in this game. The trees falling look terrible, but the bushes being hacked apart looks great. It's a wild, yeah, it's a wild game. Like, they put so much effort into so many unnecessary things, and then a lot not enough effort into some things that they should have and stuff like this it's i find it intriguing just as a game what are you doing here llama what's that tourist gonna oh it's fine let's say don't you touch that llama uh... Hmm. Oh, we can switch. Yeah. 
We can switch the shit over. Oh no, well, we can soon. Let's put this stuff away. So I think like this plant fiber, we can change into rope once we get our new thing. Which is going to be useful for making like bits and bobs. Um, and I think we can change the fur into leather. That we've got off all those llamas that we slaughtered. with the marble uh, tree sap definitely goes in here somewhere there I think so that's hardwood that's ironwood All right, and that slot was for regular wood. Cool, we got that. Uh, food. Rubber fruit. It's not even food. Can be used for rubber processing. It's not even food. I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, let's wait 20 minutes. No one knows how to use the camera in Porsche. <laughs> it's like, it, there's an option, and then there's like, no way to use it. Like, look, selfie, group photo. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> is, is it soil and green? What's soil and green? Like, bright. If so, yes. And yes, it is not food. It looks a bit nuclear. Uh, so now we need some bronze. I'm gonna put like four on. How many of these did we... Wait, we've got some? We've got three? What did we need these for again? We need three. Don't tell me we already have three in our thing. It's, it's not that. Why can't... I would totally build that right now if I had the thing. Right, it's definitely not here. There's the cut bronze one. This is all food, all potential food. Oh, maybe it was telling me that I can make three. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was telling me. <laughs> Fuck. That's fine. And then tomorrow we'll make the bronze pipes and then... I can actually set my grill away. some wood so that's the weird part where if if I want to craft something in any of these machines it will search my crates for items but if I want to use this I have to have the item in my hand in order to place it I guess it's just supposed to be immersive I don't know 
trying to figure out if you should sleep and then D&D prep layout or D&D prep then sleep. Yeah, if you're tired, sleep. And set an alarm, maybe. You'll have more than enough sleep since you start 1pm Sweden in time. I would say sleep first and then you can get hype. Or if you couldn't sleep, then you could do some of it and then you might doze while you're doing it, maybe. And then if that'll help you go off to sleep. I can do that tonight. There is time. Let's put this wood away. Don't really have a lot else to be doing at this precise moment. Oh, I missed the meeting. I missed the sun. <laughs> I missed the Sunday meeting. Stay up during European hours, so you're definitely tired at this point. Sleeping should be easy enough. Sleep then, 100%. Yeah, and then when you wake up, you won't have the break between as well, I think. It'd be nice. I actually did get my hair cut this short one time. It was really short. <laughs> Crafting complete! Yay, I'm getting my grill tonight, right now. Alright, let's cook some meat. Oh, you need salt? For fuck's sake. <laughs> we need salt from the farm store. Can we not find some in the mines or something? Uh, it's cute. Your hair is a bit longer than that now. I did enjoy having it kind of shorter. Uh, I only got it cut that short once though. But um, uh, it's interesting having different lengths. I think it's fun to play around. Can't believe I need salt. And four meats make that. Wait, so that gives you plus 15 per second for five seconds. So that gives you 15 times five, like what, 75, 75 thing. So we're gonna have to go and purchase some salt tomorrow. God damn it. You blame me for getting you in a drinking hot cocoa. Do you en Oh, I remember you were like, nah, I'm not gonna like that. You like it now though, don't you? It's like, it's soothing. You don't think the salt in that mine is processed? <laughs> yeah, but I could put it through my grinder. <laughs> And the store won't be open to go and buy so I'm gonna put salt on my list. Farm store. I think we're done for the week. Uh, we still haven't figured out how to buy new clothes. I would really like to be able to change my clothes. But at least I bought a hat. Well, I bought two hats actually. Uh, you're pretty sure if you got to making it with milk, you wouldn't go back to water. Yeah, at the moment it works fine. Yeah, I agree, Sassy. It, um, don't start drinking it with milk unless you intend to carry on drinking it with milk because it would be harder to go back. But if you like it that way, as it is right now, then I would say just continue doing that for sure. Uh, right. So... Mine. I did the spines, that's good. I've just crossed, I've just wrote mine on my list again and then crossed the old one out. Oh, I should get to bed.
Is that mine called Cave on Amber Island? No, but I need to put that on the list too. Yeah. Kill the giant snail boss. Uh, so that's on the list. Uh, I did the trap box. That was a fail. I need lettuce for that. Where can you get lettuce in this world? I don't know a handbook. Oh. Yeah, okay. No, that's so that I can sort through the transport thing. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Grill. Done. Cross. Off the list. Battery. Off the list. Oh, leather thing. I know what my notes mean. <laughs> leather thing. Science center. Cave boss. Mines. Salt. Uh, handbook. Yay! I always have milk at home, but warm milk messes with your stomach. Oh, yeah, it messes with your stomach, so you'll avoid it. Yeah, definitely do that then. Like, if you can get away without it, it's, like, probably better for you anyway, maybe? I don't know if it is. I like to think, pardon me, that it's better for me. <laughs> that I don't have milk with it. It's just less stuff. All right. Oh, we'll take a peek outside just because it's summer. I need to take those data disks to the research center. Yeah, I've got, I've probably got enough jobs for a whole, the whole next of the week. And then the week after that will be the martial arts competition. So I'll have to be in full training for that. The music changed. That's Pinky. It looks very dull for summer. Not gonna lie. But we have new music. Alright, that's as far as I'm going because that's for next time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it auto saves at night. Well, when you sleep. Yes, uh, Sassy, I will be ending it now. Just going to the main menu to get the music <laughs> going in the background. There we go, nice and peaceful. This one should send you off to sleep, Crendis. There we go. Uh, you looked up salt because you were curious. For some reason, you can get salt from breaking jars and... Barrels in the giant snail cave. <gasps> okay, perfect. So I don't even need to go to the farm store. I'm going to cross that off the list. That's a bit daft though, isn't it? Because you need the salt before you go in there. I'll keep it on the list just in case I'm by that way. And then I'll just go and buy some salt. <laughs> and make a couple of things of meat. Um... The darkest summer that's your autobiography. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as bright as I expected. Like, usually the spring has been quite colourful, so... At least there's new music, I guess. Thank you for coming, Sassy. Um, you don't know what makes no sense. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it, uh, how it all pans out. Um, thank you, Crendus. Thank you, Brox. Thank you, everybody else who came and hung out and chatted and had fun and it's been really nice to just have a chill stream because it's what I really needed this week I think I'm a very tired bean <laughs> thank you so much to Gcat for the follow, thank you to Giraffe for the 500 bits, thank you and thank you Crendus for the 3 months thank you so much I have loved it I will be potentially back on Sunday, well I should be back on Sunday but I don't know what with We'll see if Brox is up for Portal 2. If not, I'll play something else. I don't know, but I'm in a chill zone at the moment because I've been feeling stress levels. So I'm like, you know what? I need to chill. <laughs> so that's where we're at. So thank you everyone so much. Um, and I'm gonna go now. And I'm actually gonna end the stream and I'm gonna raid actually.
Right. Do we... Oh, how do we choose? Do we do we red Julia or do we red Black Ore? Black Ore has less people. So I think we're going to red Black Ore. Alright, we're red and Black Ore. I will see you later. Bye bye. I didn't want you to roll for it. 